So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to my Huawei P20 Pro unboxings and first impressions. Now I know I'm a little bit late to this one, but better late than never, right? I mean, I was thinking about if I even wanted to review this device, but after taking a closer look at the triple camera, this one was hard to pass up. You know, unfortunately, it's not really easy at all to get this in America, but you know, you might never be able to get this at a carrier, but there's ways around it to get it. I'll leave a link down below where you can go ahead and pick up one of these if you want to try one out but anyway let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's going on with the Huawei P20 Pro so the P20 Pro is basically a phone that's going to compete with the iPhone 10 the Galaxy S9 Plus and it's going to be a really hot phone on the other side of the world not over here in North America but I did go with the black version because the gradient color was sold out you can see right here Huawei design right here and you can see right here, here is the Huawei P20 Pro. Now there's that triple camera and you can see even the black version is super shiny. So I'm digging it already, but that camera setup is really what's hot about the P20 Pro right there. You can see a triple camera, but it's got quite a bit of competition if you wanna compare it to things like the Google Pixel 2 XL, the S9 Plus, they got quite a bit of competition here. So let's peel that off for the last time because you only get that once. And it looks like Huawei did go ahead and install a screen protector right out of the box on the P20 Pro, which I do like in comparison to other manufacturers who don't really do that. And my first impression so far is that the sides are feeling very nice and aluminum and the back feels kind of like any other glass foam, but very shiny though. So pretty much like other glass phones as well, very shiny. So let's see what else we do get in the box here with the P20 Pro. And there's nothing there. We have a SIM card tool. And let's go ahead and open this up. And you could see we do have some booklets, warranty information, and a case. So we do get a case in the box with this phone. I always appreciate when companies do give you a case in the box because you don't really, you know, always have a case when you first get the phone. So that's nice. And you could see that kind of similar to an iPhone 10 case, but the camera lens part is like super long because there's a triple camera on here. What else do we get in the box? So we do have ourselves the charging brick right here. This is actually the European model, I believe it is. It's not the US adapter, but this is not designed for the US, so it doesn't sell like that. And you can see you do have yourself a kind of headphone, kind of like the iPhone where you have to plug it into the USB-C. So let me go ahead and open that up. And you can see you have to plug it into the USB-C port for the Huawei P20 Pro. And here's a little dongle life. Again, very similar to Apple. So this whole unboxing setup seriously looks a lot like Apple besides the fact that you do get yourself that, you know, case over there on a the device. So overall, pretty nice looking presentation I feel like, but let's get into what really matters and that's the phone. So let's go ahead and boot up the Huawei P20 Pro. Now, to me, the black version is probably not the sexiest version of all the colors. But you know what, I, I didn't want to, you know, wait around and get the uh, Gradient version because it was sold out. And uh, also, this one was actually $100 cheaper than the Gradient version, so like the purple-blue color, so that's fine. So it says Huawei right here, and you can see that little AI boot up look. It does have EMUI, and it should have Android 8.0 Oreo out of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and set this thing up, and I'll be back when I am done. You can see this is my second notch phone alongside of the iPhone 10, but that notch you can see is much smaller than that notch on the iPhone 10. Okay guys, so we are now in the device of the P20 Pro and this thing actually does run Android 8.1 Oreo. I thought it was 8.0, but it runs Android 8.1.0. Now you also get 8.1 EMUI on here as well, so keep that in mind. It is the latest version of that. You do have a fingerprint scanner at the bottom of this device, but it's just out of the way and it's just small enough to not really ruin the device. Now on the side, you can see that we do have ourselves a power button with a little slit inside of it that looks orange. So it kind of makes the device, you know, have a little bit of its own aesthetic, its own unique look. Aluminum sides here on the device. You also have yourself a volume rocker switch right here. On the back is where things really get interesting and that's that triple camera setup. So we have an eight megapixel sensor, 40 megapixel sensor, which is like the biggest sensor since the Nokia days. And you have yourself a 20 megapixel black and white sensor. On the front camera, that is up there next to that little earpiece. You do have yourself a 24 megapixel camera and that thing only does 720p on the front. So this is not gonna be the best phone for vlogging if you wanna vlog from the front facing camera. Now at the bottom of the P20 Pro, we are looking at a USB-C port and we have 
two speakers right here, or one's a microphone, one's a speaker, and uh, there is no headphone jack. So S9's got the Huawei P20 Pro beat there if you are looking for a headphone jack. Now, in terms of how it feels on the rear, it feels very similar to an iPhone 10 on the back. It's got that slimy, like, glass feel on the back, but it doesn't have the same sides. The sides are aluminum, and over here on the iPhone 10, the sides are more like a stainless steel, but they feel a little bit slippery. So I do like the feel of the P20 Pro better on the sides than I do on the iPhone 10. Now it looks like this is more of a plus style device, 6.1 inch display where the iPhone 10 is a smaller display. So this is nice because I think this is similar to what we're gonna see on the 10 plus later this year. And uh, right here you have a 6.1 inch 2240 by 1080. So this is not 4K or 2K display. It's not gonna beat the Sony's 4K display. It's not gonna beat the Samsung 2K display, but it should be pretty good. It's pretty well accurate as from what I'm seeing so far. And you also get the Kirin 970 AI chip in this device. So it should be plenty fast no matter what you're doing here. You see me try to swipe up like this is TouchWiz. This is not TouchWiz or Samsung Experience version, correct me. 4,000 milliamp hour battery sealed in the back of this one. So it should be pretty tough right there. And six gigs of RAM. So Huawei's not playing around when it comes to the performance of their flagship P20 Pro. And I really look forward to seeing how good the battery life is on this device. It weighs 180 grams, so it's lighter than the S9 Plus and lighter and about the same weight as the iPhone 10, but a bigger display. Play. and it gives you 128 gigabytes of storage right out of the box. So overall, my first impressions are it feels just like an iPhone 10 in terms of premium feel, just like an S9 Plus. It's definitely flagship. It feels flagship. But I got the work cut out for me as I'm going to be putting this up against the likes of the iPhone 10. I know people are probably going to want to see it versus the Galaxy S9 Plus device. And for that camera, yes, the Panda has got some competition these days so let me know what you would like to see on this device you know if you want to see some comparisons speed test camera reviews battery tests let me know what you specifically want to see on these devices because i do take your feedback seriously for the p20 pro and uh what do you think of it do you like the p20 pro are you getting one do you already have one let us know down below in the comment section and that's pretty much it if you haven't subscribed you might want to be subscribed to see many more contents coming soon and have notifications turned on so you don't miss one when it does arrive nick here helping you to master your technology thank you very much for watching be sure to be well i will catch you all in the next episode and peace